China's involvement in the race for fifth-generation fighter aircraft has been marked by its development of the Chengdu J-20 and Shenzhen FC-31 aircraft. These fighters represent China's ambition to compete with other global powers in advanced aerial warfare capabilities. Shenzhen FC-31, also known as J-31, and now designated J-35. This is another fifth-generation style fighter developed by Shenzhen Aircraft Corporation. The J-35 is smaller and less capable than the J-20, but is designed to be more affordable and suitable for export. It features stealthy design elements, advanced avionics, and a mounted-on capability similar to Western counterparts like the F-35 Lightning II. According to Chinese media, the J-35 is being tested on the Liaoling aircraft carrier, signifying advancements in China's naval air capabilities. Both China's carriers, Niaoling and Shandong, utilize ski jump ramps for aircraft launches, traditionally operating the J-15 fighter. The J-35's deployment suggests exploration of its use on these platforms, despite limitations compared to Caterpillar assisted launches. Developed for operation from China's electromagnetic Caterpillar equipped Type 003 Fushan carrier, the J-35 promises enhanced radar and reduced signature, alongside a significant payload capacity. This development marks a significant step in China's quest to modernize its naval efforts. Developed for both the People's Liberation Army Navy efforts and People's Liberation Army efforts, reports of the J-35 first circulated in June 2020, which claims that it was a more production-ready version that featured smoother lives, had a larger radar for a bigger radar, and a closer alignment of control surfaces to reduce its radar signature. The J-35 carrier base variant of the FC-31 made its maiden flight on October 29, 2021. It features a caterpillar launch bar and a wing fold mechanism. The twin-engine fighter was developed to be operated by the People's Liberation Army Navy Air Force from China's future Type 003 Fujian-class aircraft carriers. It could be capable of operating with the carrier's electromagnetic aircraft launch system, which should bear similarity to the U.S. Navy's Zero Fraud-class EMORS launch system. The J-35 style fighter features a design for a single pilot and measures 17.3 meters in length. Its dimensions, including an 11.5 meters wingspan and a height of 4.8 meters, are optimized for both aerodynamic efficiency and compatibility with aircraft carriers. The aircraft has a wing area of 50 square meters enhancing its lift capabilities and maneuverability. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 28,000 kg and is propelled by two WS-13 afterburning turbofan engines. Each engine delivers a drive thrust of 56.79 kN which increases to 87.2 kN with afterburner, allowing the aircraft to achieve speeds of up to Mark 1.8 at high altitudes and Mark 1.14 at sea level. Equipped with six external hard points 
and an internal weapon spy. The J-35 has the capacity to carry up to 1,000 kilograms of ammunition. Its payload includes an assortment of medium-range air-to-air missiles, supersonic air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. Given that payload, it could be quite the challenge for it to launch off China's older carriers, but perhaps tests are being conducted to see what the aircraft can actually carry. The J-35's operational range is 1,200 km on internal field, which extends to 1,900 km with in-flight refueling, offering considerable versatility in mission planning. It can operate at altitudes up to 16,000 meters, facilitating engagements above most ground-based defense systems. The testing of both the J-35 and the J-15 models on the Liaolin's deck highlights a strategic diversification in the carrier's aircraft lineup. The J-35 is poised to take on roles requiring air superiority and deep penetration into enemy defenses, while the J-15 continues to serve as the crucial component for anti-ship and attack missions due to its large payload capacity. China's development of these fifth-generation fighters is part of its broader military modernization efforts aimed at enhancing its air superiority capabilities and projecting power in the Asia-Pacific region. These aircraft represent China's growing technological prowess in aerospace engineering and its aspiration to challenge the dominance of the Western powers in advanced fighter technology. The J-20 and J-35 are expected to play a crucial role in China's future Air Force operations, providing the People's Liberation Army Air Force with cutting-edge capabilities to deter potential adversaries and safeguard China's interests in the region. As China continues to invest in research and development in military aviation, its fifth-generation fighters are likely to evolve further, posing significant challenges to the efforts of other nations in the coming years. <laughs>